And this is Cy Pinkert reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2024 at Oshkosh. I get the unique opportunity to fly Level D simulators on a regular basis, and yesterday morning, Alsom gave me the opportunity to fly their simulator. I was shocked by how realistic it was. Let's go learn more about it and take a look inside. Hi, I'm Jason DaCosta, and I'm representing Alsim. I'm the business development and sales manager for North America, and this is our incredible AL250. It's uh, Alsim's flagship product that we're introducing into the United States and Canada. We've been around the background of the company. We are from France, and we've been around for 30 years, so we're quite experienced at flight simulation manufacturing and development. I would say that we are the premium flight simulation manufacturer for North in the world. This is a reconfigurable uh, device. It has three engine, uh, three aircraft types, from the Cessna 172, the Piper Archer 28, and the Archer 44. We can do analog and glass. We can reconfigure the panels from digital to analog. And if you're a flight school owner, this is the device you need. Alsim's claim to fame is its control loading. It feels like a real aeroplane, it flies like a real aeroplane, and I would suggest if you haven't flown an Alsim, if you're a CFI or an owner looking to improve the quality of your training, Alsim is the company you need to be talking to. My name is Nida Catton, and I'm the owner of Cirrus Aviation. We're a flight school in Sarasota, Florida. We discovered the Alsim simulators in 2016. We had another simulator in our flight school that wasn't quite getting the use that we wanted and we couldn't quite use it for the applications that we envisioned. When we found this brand of simulator, we found the realism to be to such a high level that a lot of the plans we had in the making, um, we were able to bring them to fruition. For example, the realistic feel of this simulator led us to be able to do all of our ab initio training in this, in this exact model actually. We have two different models. We have the AL250, which is a generic simulator, and you have a, a variety of models that you can use at the touch of a button. Um, therefore, really teaching the foundations and the basics of aviation versus being very model-centric. We do have an AL172 for the IFR training and such, um, but we have transitioned our school to have a sim-centric syllabus. We found the efficiency in using a sim has been beneficial to everyone. The students love it. Anybody from the outside world that you tell that you do flight training to, they're, they're in awe that people do not start in a simulator. So they're really at ease and they're very comfortable when they come to our school and realize, oh great, I get to do my first 10 hours in a sim and then transition to the airplane. Oftentimes when they transition, the instructors are shocked at how easy the transition is. It's been a great overall tool for our school. We, we could never go back and, and be in a world without Sims. We welcome you to come and try it.